Hello, welcome and thank you for joining me today for my review of the High Gear Zenobia 8 Nightfall Tent. This is another uncycling related video, but as my wife and I and the kids have had three camping trips in this tent now, I thought it was time to do a little video and tell you my thoughts about this tent. Hope you enjoy. The High Gear Zenobia 8 Nightfall Tent is a classic tunnel design tent with five poles which handily on this tent are all exactly the same length so you don't need to worry about which pole goes where they all can go in any of the slots. The tent takes about 25 minutes to pitch with two people once you've got used to how it goes up. If you did miss my pitching video on how to pitch this I'll pop a link on screen now for you. As we take a look around the tent, you can see that it's a decent sized tent. Um, it's approximately seven meters long by three meters wide, and that's not including the guidelines. It has two bedrooms either side of the main living area in the center. And as you can see, there's a door on this side and a window, and there's also a door and window on the other side. The tent, however, is not symmetrical. The door on the other side actually has the little porch, which gives you a little bit of extra protection when you're entering the tent. So it's important when you're putting the tent up to make sure that you put that side um, on the side that you're going to use the most to go in and out of. I mentioned in the last video about the pegs being colour coordinated and there you can see the three different colours that they are. Yellow for the guidelines, the steel ones for the four corners and the green ones for the ground sheet. Now the ground sheet of this tent is actually sewn in which gives you better protection from the weather. But because it's sewn in it is important to keep the vents open which this tent has plenty of to avoid getting too much condensation in the tent. So it has the two end vents that you can see are held open by the uh, yellow guide lines. There's also two vents on the bottom on each side and one on the top above the window. As we go down to the bottom of the tent here, you can see that we also have a power access point where you can put your um, electric hook up through and seal it with a little zip. Here we can see the vent above the window. There's two little things that you just need to pull out to make sure that's opened up and then the same at the bottom there and there's one of those vents either side. As we go in you can see there's a mesh panel which can zip shut to let air in but keep the creepy crawlies out as well as the weatherproof door and it has these both sides and both will also roll up and toggle to the tent so you can keep them open fully. As you can see there's plenty of places to hang your lighting from at the top of the tent We've got some fairy lights up here and a lantern in the corner. Um, you can also see that in front of the bedrooms, and you've got this either side, you've got these storage pockets to store shoes, magazines, books, whatever you want in, which all helps to keep the tent nice and tidy. As we go in the nightfall bedroom, you can see on this one, we've got the divider taken out to make one big bedroom for four people. The front of the bedrooms have a mesh, which can be opened to let a bit more air in, obviously keep the bugs out and you can also close that, it's got a proper cover which you can close and it will help keep the bedrooms a bit darker as they are this nightfall material which does help a lot in the mornings to keep the light out now don't expect it to be pitch black in there, they're not miracles but it does make a considerable difference to the rest of the tent when you open the zip in the morning you will be quite amazed at the amount of light that it does keep out as you can see, we bought the extra carpet with this tent, which does make a lovely difference in the morning. It helps to insulate the bottom of the tent and keep your feet a bit warmer when you first get up. And it's also got a little welcome mat with it, which is nice. Here you can see one of the windows. It's got toggles either side, which you can take off, roll the window down, and then there's toggles at the bottom to toggle it up. And then obviously you can close them when you want a bit more privacy. And we do quite like these windows. Uh, it's nice to let a bit of extra light in. And on one of our trips it was um, a little bit rainy in the evening and it was nice to sit inside the living area and just watch the rain on the tent. As we go to the other side you can see that we've got the divider up to divide this end of the tent into a bedroom and a storage area slash our porta potty area. Now the divider it does just toggle into place, it doesn't zip to completely seal it. So it's not 100% privacy but at the end of the day even if it did zip it's just a piece of material so 
you can't expect a massive amount of privacy anyway. In this bedroom here you can see we've got an airbed um, for my two boys and that airbed is 137 centimeters by 191 and there's still room to spare and we found that in the other, other end as well um, we've got two double airbeds and there's still space to spare. With these bedroom pods you can see that they've got colour coded clips at the top so when you're putting them in um, it's, it's impossible to get it wrong. Um, just follow the, uh, the colour coordination and the bedroom pods will go in fine. They go in nice and easily. And once you put those bedroom pods in the first time, you can leave them in. So when you take down the tent, you don't have to take them out. The tent has a hydrostatic rating of 4,000. Now I'm not sure exactly what that means, but when it did rain, we didn't get wet. It also comes with an easy pack bag, which means you can wrap the bag around the tent when you're putting it away. So you don't have to worry about squishing it down and getting it in a bag, which can be quite difficult. So after three camping trips with this tent, my verdict is that I'm extremely happy with it. And so is the rest of the family. I don't know what I could expect if I spent more money on a tent. I don't know what extra features I would get because I think that this one has everything. It has the great pegs that are colour coded to make them easy to put in. It has nightfall bedrooms to keep it dark in the evenings. It has plenty of storage pockets on the outside of the bedrooms and also on the inside, which I didn't show you on the video and it has the easy bag to pack it away. That about wraps it up for this review. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. I will be back to cycling related content next time when I'll be exploring Route 85 along the D Valley. Take care, thanks for watching.